me, Professor Harkness, is this the real me, Benji, a teenage pipsqueak, or is this the real me? Thing ring, do your thing! <laughs> Am I Benji, or am I an orange hunk of rock? Try to understand, Benjamin. I'm doing the best I can to find the formula. I'll try anything. Oops! I'm sorry about that, Professor. It takes research, Ben, and time. If we attempt an untested formula, it could make you even younger. Younger? You could end up wearing diapers. Yuck! What a revolting development. <laughs> the night watchman. I know, I know. Time to change back to stringy muscles and school books. Uh, thanks for dropping by, Benji, so we could discuss that lab problem. And be careful driving to the big game in Elmville tomorrow. That's a long ride. Better tell Ronald. He's driving. Ronald, you said this was a shortcut. Well, we've been shortcutting for hours. Just leave everything to good old Eagle Eye, Radford. Ah! Whew. Well, where are we now, Christopher Columbus? Let's get back to the main road. This dust is just ruining my complexion. Now what? Nothing to worry about. A car as finely tuned as this one needs coaxing. <laughs> How do you coax a tune out of it with no gas, maestro? Well, nobody's perfect. Although I do come close. <laughs> I know exactly where we are. We're two miles from Gone Away Gulch. At least you can read. I guess we better start walking. Gulch is a ghost town. And it sure looks like everyone's gone away. But I don't care what happens. Nothing could make me go inside those ugly, dirty places. <laughs> Nothing that is but rain. I just had my hair done. I do hope they are cold. <laughs> hmm. Maybe you should have phoned for reservations. Hurry! My eye makeup is starting to run. Wow, looks like this place hasn't been cleaned in years. Well, it's difficult to hire decent household help these days. By just the other day, dear mama... Be was... quiet, Ronald. I thought I heard something. Merely the wind, Betty, my dear, which reminds me this musty old dump could use smearing out. putting on airs again. I always said he was riding for a... ball. Boy, Ronald, when you took off, I thought I was seeing things. I am seeing things. Look! <laughs> There's somebody up there. Or something. Let's go check. Maybe he can lead us to a ghost station. Uh, I, I mean, a gas station. You can't scare me, Benji. Kelly, uh, you and Betty look around down here. Ronald and I will take the upstairs. Upstairs? <laughs> Ooh. Why don't you signal when you're going to stop? Walking so close behind me, you're pulling my socks down. Why don't you check down the hall while I look around here? Uh, uh, very well. If you're sure you'll be all right on your own. I'll be all right. Yeah, well, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Benji, that is you, isn't it? Don't be afraid. I'll be right there. Benji, where are you?
sounded like an earthquake in a fireworks factory. I'm scared. I wish Ronald and Benji would get back. Or at least Benji. Oh, no. What's that? Let's get out of here. Unless you want to practice some out of date disco. It's a ghost. Quick, this way. It's another ghost. Just our luck to arrive at rush hour. Come on. There's no way out. Hey, what's all the racket? If something doesn't happen quick, we're gonna have a lot of light on the subject. Oh, boy. Looks like it's time to change things around here. Bing ring, do your thing! Well, here I am, the idol of millions, in the spotlight again. We have this scary, ugly, spooky, yucky ghost. Help! <clears throat> Ronald Radford. I might have known. Hmm. I liked him better with that pipe over his mouth. Come on, everybody. We gotta get out of here. The, the ceiling's collapsing. Get the ceiling. The floor is what worries me. <laughs> What happened? I wish I could see. I'm glad I can't. I must look a mess. I wonder where we are. You be trespassing in my gold mine. That's where you be. Uh-oh. And since my shenanigans at the hotel didn't scare you teenage claim jumpers off, I'll tell you to your faces. Vamoose, skedaddle, hightail it, get to getting. I believe the gentleman is asking us to remove ourselves from the premises. For a change, Ronald, I think you're right. Let's go. There's gold here, Summers, and I aim to find it. Uh-oh! He hit an underground stream! And it could flood the mine. We better run for it. Come on. I think the entrance is this way. No, thanks, Ronald. We've had enough of your shortcut. Good. Keep going. Time for the thing to arrive. Ting ring, do your thing! Sheesh! You don't know when to call it quits, Buster. Now, this pile of rocks says that that pile of rocks is caving in. Now, get going before you have to swim for it. Oh! Yeah! Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Well, them kids in the miner must be safe by now. Help! Uh-oh, what a revolting development. It's revolting Ronald again. Bye, Ronald. Have a nice trip. Phew. There's days when I wish I wasn't the idol of millions. Help! Hang on, ladies. I'll get you out of this precarious predicament. There you go. It ain't a yacht, but it'll have to do. Oh, Thing, you're wonderful. You're great. You're... Soggy, let's get this show on the road. Thanks. Thank you. I don't believe my own stone eyes. There's got to be gold here. You're a hard fella to convince. So i got to take extreme type measures. Concerning you mangy coyote, you sidewinding raptor, you're nothing but a ghost. Where's Benji? 
Never mind him, concern it. Where's my mule? Whoa! You'll find a gas station. Come on, Sadie. We gotta find gold. Move, you lop eared loafer. Wow. Look at that. It looks like gold. It's gold. <laughs> Sadie, you did it. You found the gold. <laughs> How very uncouth. Imagine kissing that mangy beast. Oh, I don't know, Ronald. Yeah, that mangy beast is probably richer than you are. Huh? Oh, what a revolt of fellow. <laughs>